Welcome to our Facebook live crafting session from Come Crafting with Jill and Jez. I'm Jill. And I'm Jez. And on the first, on the first Saturday of every month, we do a joint live crafting session over in our Facebook group, Come Crafting with Jill and Jez. If you'd like to watch along live next time, please come and join our group. There'll be a link below this video. I hope you enjoy watching. I aim for the middle of the grid map, yeah. Okay, so this, is, uh, this was a swap that I received at a um, previous event. I think it was one of the Pinkies events, which I've recreated. So this is, this is the original, which I have cannibalized in order to get the measurements and whatever. So I pulled that one to pick pieces. Yeah. And I've remade it in different Oh, colors. you're never doing that one, Jill. Why? That's almost exactly the oh. same as mine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> How many times do we do this? Oh. Um, never I mind. Just, Mine's I, different. I, My sides oh. stick out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so we'll show you two versions of this then today. Two versions of that yeah. bag. Yes. Yes. Um, so it's a cute little bag and I've popped in side some of the little easter eggs that i got in my swaps last week so it's got a little um collection of easter eggs in there which i thought was quite sweet so it made quite a nice little easter gift for somebody um so two bags for the price of yeah. one yeah yeah referring to me and jill never mind what we're making <laughs> <laughs> right so for mine Jez might have completely different measurements, might be different, completely different size. You need a piece of cardstock that is four inches. I'm doing it in inches as well, notice. Only because that previous one was made in inches, so it was easier to convert it. Four inches by nine and a half. And a half. Sorry. That's exactly the same. That's so funny. Is that the same <laughs> size as yours? Are you going to score now at three, four and a half, seven and a half, nine? Oh my goodness. I, mean, I should quickly think of something else to make. We should, we should have compared notes, shouldn't I, we? I did say I was going to make this bag, but never mind. No, no, you said I'll make something off my inspiration table. Yeah, and this was on my inspiration table. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> They'll look different. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I can't believe we've picked exactly the same product. Because this wasn't one of your... Like I said, this, this was from a previous swap. This is this is what I made from a previous swap. Um, I've lost now. Seven and a half. Mine does look different. My sides stick out. Okay. Well, well, yeah, so we'll show you how to make one with one with insides and one with the sticky outsides. And then I'm going to score at one and a half. Are you scoring at one and a half? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're going to have to compare notes in future. Right. So that's we are doing that. slightly different because I do another step that you're not oh, doing. So Okay. Right. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take a ruler and a pencil because you need some diagonal. Oh, oh no, we are doing the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, why don't you all just log off now? <laughs> Put it down to experience. Right, I am going to put a little mark here. Jez will probably do hers on a, on a scorer or so. Yeah, I will. Um, so I'm putting a little mark there in pencil. This is at three quarters of an inch, so it's in the middle of that one and a half inch panel. So, okay. so. we're getting comments. No, it's me! Because, you know, we're making the same project. <laughs> I didn't even look at your, your inspiration table project. Oh, I just looked through my previous... That. I, I I just looked through my previous swaps and thought I'll make that. <laughs> so I've just marked those corners so I can see because it's quite dark card. I actually I'm going to um, furnish. I'm going to persevere despite the fact that Jez is laughing at me. <laughs> oh, somebody's oh hi Karen, welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> This is, this is not going to go down as one of our classics, is it? <laughs> I don't know, it might be pretty classic. <laughs> right, so I've finished all those score lines and now what I'm going to do, I don't know if Jess is doing this the same way as me, she might have a different technique to do. And so I'm going to line that up. No. Okay. And score from that point that I measured in the middle down oh, to I where... Oh, I am doing it and... slightly different. I so, use a ruler. Yeah, you could use a ruler, but 
I thought I'd do this. So, so yeah, you can do, do different techniques here, guys. So. Yeah. And he says they didn't vote as comedy duo for nothing. <laughs> I can't believe we've both chosen the same project. No, I can't either. And that's pure flukes. Like I said, I, I didn't look at your inspiration table. I just, I just no, looked at you. Taught me in that way, Jill, that you never even looked at well, I, all my hard work for weeks. I did, I did at the time last week. I looked at your inspiration table and took lots of photos. But when I was planning this project, I didn't go back and look at it. Oh, maybe it does, I, maybe yeah. I should have done because I would have realised it was the same project. Yeah. Although there was two bags, and I said I'm making one of the bags yeah. from, yeah. and so it could have been the other one. And I can't now suddenly quickly do the other one because I haven't written the uh, thingies down. I can't see what I'm doing here. This is very dark. That'll be close enough. There we go. Oh, Hazel wants to see the table photos. It's coming up. I'm, I've done. I've done a. I've done a video on what I made. Hazel, I'm not sure when it's coming out. That's going on holiday soon. So is Jill. So we've got things yeah. scheduled. We don't know when they are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll have things scheduled to go out while you're away. I won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just given up at the moment. It's just too much going on. Just too much in my head. I just couldn't cope with the stress. So I've decided to give myself a, a proper time out. Holiday. Yeah, time out. And then I'm trying to get back to it. I'm going to try and be back to it next week, the week, week when we get back. Yeah. But then definitely after Easter, I'll be back to it. Yeah. We're away for Easter as well. So that doesn't seem very long away. Just yeah. rubbing out my pencil lines. We're back four days and then we're away again. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. How do we have time to work? <laughs> oh, right. Couldn't do holidays like this when we worked because you'd have to couldn't go in third term. That's time. right. That's right. right. It's a little bit nice. So, so I'm going to wedge in there and cut this tab off there. And I'm going to wedge in here and do a straight cut there. Just straight cut here and wedge in there, wedge in there and do a straight cut there and that so you end up that's your template and then I'm going to glue, I'm just going to check that this all bends the right way, That's going to go like that, and that's going to go like that. See, this is not my forte. You're doing well for uh, not your forte. Um, doing 3D product. I do quite enjoy doing it, but um, okay, what glue should I use? Let's use this glue. Just hope it sticks, dries quickly enough. It does. So let's smooth it out so it's got less liquid there to dry. There we go. And then just fold that over, and that should meet completely, which always amazes me that they meet completely there. Yeah, so it's like a leap of faith is it going to work? Yeah, and if it doesn't, you so. fold it wrong. Yeah, yeah, right. So, what I did with oh no, see, that's not, it's not ready yet. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave that for a second. Just Move that. Leave that for a second and let's go on and make the little decoration that we need. So on the front of my box, I've just got this little little flower icon and that was cut from this die, which is from, buried under here, around the bend dies, which is a new set of dies that I've got that I haven't used yet, which are these ones, which I've got those quite recently i haven't used them yet but it's got this little three flower die so one of those flowers is what i've used on the front there just need to poke out the holes nice there we go oh i forgot to mention when we were talking about the challenge what the next month's challenge was and it's spring Spring, we'd like a spring, 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 any any spring type card, right? So that's the little flower, and then I still have, and I apologise for this. This is retired years and years and years ago. My three quarter inch circle punch. I haven't let any of my circle punches go. I love them. I'm uh, using that one as well. 
<laughs> so, but we so, have got um, two circle punches back. Yes, we have with the, the new online. online. Only online. Yeah. Um, two inch, online. Two inches. Two inches. Is it two and a half or two and a quarter? Two. The two inch it, and the two and something. I think it's over two inches. I'm not sure. It might be the two yeah. inches. I didn't really it's, say I, no notice I, other than. I think one of them is two inches and one of them is bigger than two inches. I can't remember if it's two and a quarter or two and a half. But they will layer up quite nicely, yeah. I think, whatever they are. Yeah. Right, okay. So we've got that ready to put on our little bag. And then the wrap over bit, which I'll do in a minute. And I've just realised I didn't stick the DSP on before I did it. So you can do it all in the right order, see? I was um, thinking whilst you were doing it are you not going to stick the dsp yeah, on first but right. you can still you can stick the, it will still be flat because yeah. you haven't you yeah. haven't got your flaps yeah. so i'll do yeah. that in a sec um and this wrap over bit is one of the tailored late tailored ah. tags labels ah, that's see that difference of mine yeah and that's a really yeah. good idea and i can't remember how, how long it is because i did it last night and i wasn't really awake so it was so it measures two and a quarter so let's just trim that off to two and a quarter. And then score it at one. Oh, is it that side or that side that it scores at one? Yeah, that side. Yeah, at one. And one and a quarter. And that's the same, same as well. <laughs> and that's our little flap to go over there. Right, now I'm going to put my DSP on, which is all completely the wrong order. Like so, I'll use a different DSP. Well, it's the same pack of DSP. This I love this sheet. Mm with the little ditzy flowers love this is one of my favorites love this sheet and so you could do it in lots of colorways you could do a pink one a yellow one uh -huh. a turquoise one and i'm doing purple what's on the and other side of that some... oh that one yeah yeah i mean they're all very similar at the back so they're all that most of them i think there's five of them that are that sort of oil painting yeah i like that um and then one of them is is the blue, dark blue one with the tiny flowers or whatever on crosses is it um but this is one of my favorite sheets and it coordinates quite well right oh the dsp measures i've written it down for you two and seven eighths by two and three eighths we <laughs> said that together it's two and seven eighths by two and three eighths. <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad i've gone first yeah I yeah. wouldn't want I wouldn't want to follow you making a 3D project. <laughs> uh, but mine will look different. Yeah, just goes to show you start off with the same template and you can make things look very, very different. And you can just use what you've got in your stash. So you don't use, you need to use anything that we've got because you can just do your own thing. Right. So it's a very, very tiny border around these panels. You could cut it smaller and have a bigger border if you wanted to, if you wanted to change it up a bit. Mat it. I did think about matting mine, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Right. So I don't know how Jess does this. I'm going to fold over one of the big flaps. I sandwich my flaps. Put some, some exactly like glue that. on the little ones. And then stay down. And glue this one and I'm going to turn it over and put some pressure on it to hold it down like so oh and Trish then... joined us thank you there we go just put a bit of pressure down there to stick them together like so oh the circle punches are one and three quarters and two inches oh one and th three quarters and two inches oh okay I've got them as well yeah. right in front of me yeah, I've got, I've, I've, I, I have, they're one of the things I didn't sell, thank goodness. Yeah. Um, I, so I, like I said, I've held on to all my circle punches because they're so useful. Yeah. And I've got the dies as well, but it's so much more easy, so much easier to um, punch. punch out a circle than it is to get your die cutting machine out. Right, I'm going to um, stick on my little flower on the front here. 
so glue everywhere because it's very clever and then put a little bit of glue and that's going to go on the back so up to the first fold line marvellous so have you done your handles the same as this yeah oh no yeah I did, I did think about doing some ribbon, but then I thought I'd do the handles like that. Yeah. So may, maybe you, did you get your idea? Because this was Sylvia Lawrence who made me that. Um, yeah. Um, well, I've made the bag before without the flap. So while that dries, I'm going to do the handles. So for the handles, what size do I need for the handles, Jess? Well, I... I just did a rough half inch by five. Oh, I did half an inch by six and a half. Right. right. I felt they were too long. Yeah, they are quite long, I have to admit. But they're quite nice. I quite like them. So I'll, I'll carry on doing it in the same. You do you. But then we'll be different. <laughs> <laughs> so it's half, half an inch wide. And another one because of course you need two and then we're going to try and score down the middle yeah that's... so you need to position this in between they've got a quarter of an inch mark and a quarter of an inch mark there so if you position that in there and then hope it doesn't move when you put the flap down very gently put this flap down and then score down the middle and then same thing for the other one. Flap should always be hidden. <laughs> Sorry? We're talking about flaps. I said I like to sandwich me flaps. Then <laughs> Ivy's gone. I hide my flaps too. And then Hazel's gone flaps should be hidden. <laughs> right. Oh. And then. Ah, oh, naughty. Right, and then you're going to fold these in half, but not quite down to the ends, because you need a little bit to splay out to stick them on. Yeah. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it, and I'm actually going to use, not Tombow this time, I'm going to use some collage, I think that might stick them better. And then I'm just going to hold them together. With, oh, that's not going to work there. Um, with some... Um, clips yeah just to keep them together the one i finish off the other bit of the bag so got a load of library clips here just clip that together i've got a bag of them yeah from people swaps mostly yeah <laughs> so that will just be drying while we wait and then let's just do the other one. We got library clips a little smiley face this time in swaps, didn't we? Yeah, that was Karen Mackley, I think. Yeah, well cute, yeah. like them. Yeah. Yeah, they're not stumping up. No. Counter counterfeits some um, contraband. Contraband product, but hey, we like them. At all. I haven't watched your swap videos up today isn't it i haven't watched it yeah yet. yeah finally got around to posting it after everybody else has done theirs but hey hey <laughs> i actually re recorded a reel of it so i'm gonna put oh, that up the room. Oh, check you out i know i know i had a conversation with my daughter yesterday where she said i don't understand why you find all these things so hard they're all so easy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all so so intuitive. I don't understand why you have such a problem. I can't get a pin back in my glue now. Go. There we go. Right. So back to the bag. What else have we got to do? The Velcro. Oh, I can't tell you how long it took me to find my Velcro dots yesterday. And I like I didn't find the dots. I found I've got these square pads, but that's all right. I can yeah. cut them up. I, I did bought square ones so that I could cut them up and it was um people. I've got two packs of dots somewhere. I've got no idea where they are. I couldn't find them at all yesterday, but I found these. So just gonna cut a little square of Velcro from that one. That's the hooky bit. And then a little square of Velcro from here. 
this is the fluffy bit more flat and that is going to go you'll have to read back the comments jill because you can't see them but people are having a very immature laughter <laughs> about what laughs <laughs> that we might get taken off air like barrett gary lineker yeah we don't behave and then there we go it's gonna go there i had to check so. the fact that our sky wasn't um series linked for match of the day because i'm not <laughs> supporting it at no. all no no just and i love how many people have come out in solidarity yeah i love that all all the other other people on the program came out with them. Yeah, and other programs. They're um, yeah. been pre-recorded today on Radio Five Live because nobody wants to broadcast. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. We live in a democracy, and we have freedom of speech. But you know, anyway, yeah. should be there. So I've got the Velcro on. Meanwhile, after all that, there we go. It just holds it down really mm. nicely. Mm. Are you using magnets in yours? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's, That's different. Assistant. Right, okay, and then we just got to do the handle, so hopefully these will be dry by now. Uh, and he's gone the hooky bit and the fluffy bit. <laughs> do love the technical terms. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what it's called? I don't, I don't, are they called something? I don't know, probably. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll, but they are hooky and they are fluffy. Yeah, they are. So just using my bone folder to curl these a little bit because they're too straight. And then just need to flatten that bit out and put a little bit of glue on there. And oh, I know what I did yesterday with these. Yeah, it's remembered. A little bit of glue on there, a little bit of glue. Sorry, I should come on camera. There we go. And then I stuck this down on here. And I used a clip to just hold that in place while it dries. That Hazel says the hook can loop. Yeah, that sounds a bit better. Although Andy's saying he's going to call them hooky and fluffy from now on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've done that on the wrong side. Hey ho, just pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> Go, it's going well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need some more glue there. Use all my glue up. My phone is still telling that only three people are watching, but there are 12 on the... Um... We had 17 at once. One I time, know, though. but they're not. My, my niece has messaged me to say that it's not showing on the Facebook group for her. So, no. we might, so we might... I said close the app and try again, and she's saying it's not. That's really so might, weird. Yes, yeah, so we might have lost people that way. Yeah. Living. Right, so I've had stuck the handle on that side, and then just do the handle on this side. The same thing again. Curl it around a little bit. Flatten out the edges, the ends. And then once these have stuck and you can take the bulldog clips off, got a little bag. Yeah. Yeah. I am doing something a little bit different as well, after, you know, to embellish it. So there you that go. Makes so it will be different. Will be will be worth you staying, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'll understand if you leave. <laughs> the same project created twice, <laughs> and I have no doubt that Jess's will be better than mine because she's so used to doing three D, and I'm not. Oh, I doubt it. She's really fiddly, but oh, stay there. There we go. And then just this one. You could just sit there and hold it if you're, if you're, you know, just making these at home. But because I'm here doing it, I want them to some way of holding them. Right, there we go. Right, that's my bag. That was my prototype. And that's my other, my one Mom. I made today. Mom. So, hey, quite sweet. Saying if these were made for swaps, that's dedication. Isn't it? I was, do you know, while I was making it last night, I was thinking, oh my goodness, I don't know how many this woman made. Actually, when you do the Pinkies event, you don't swap with everyone. You swap in groups of six. So oh, no, probably that, only event, made... that event, it was everyone. I don't know which event it was. Did you get one of these from that event? Though? Did, the yeah, one I got one ever? from the last event. Oh, we to. okay. And that yeah, was so we did all sort of... Yeah, we did. Oh, gosh, gosh, she made that many. 
Yeah, I'm afraid I don't love all my colleagues that much to spend that much time. <laughs> That's me. Thank goodness for that. Honestly, I need to go for a lie down. Right, I'm coming up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my projects. Now you can pop over and watch Jez's project um, and watch her half of the live video and see her amazing projects that she's making. Bye. Bye.